your teeth into the Tandoori Burger. How to make this fizzling sandwich and smoke it without a smoker. Yes, indeed. Plus, value your Valentine without breaking the bank. Last minute gifts if you're on a budget or if you just want really neat stuff. And it's a... his latest single and talk about his newest album out today. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. We're gearing you up with good food for the weekend and great music. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. Did Sears just mention about doing taxes this weekend? Yeah. What? No, 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 no. Isn't though? that later on? I, yeah, I well, know. we got too much got going time. on we here. Got time. We got radio happening. <laughs> we're giving you a taste of a tandoori burger. Country star Wade Bowen stopped by for a rooftop session as well. He talks Texas, his love for the Alamo City, and about his latest album, Solid Ground, which dropped today. Yep. Well, his latest single, So Long Six Street, features artist Miranda Lambert and Jack Ingram. Country rocker Wade Bowen is about to rock our rooftop session this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Let's talk about this latest album, Solid Ground. What sets it apart from the others? Well, I've been defining this as my Texas album. I've, I've touched on this with other songs throughout my career, but I, this is the first one that I really wanted sonically to represent the state. So, you know, to me, Texas music is rock, country, Americana, blues, Tejano, R&B, uh, Everything I mixed into one boiling pot of awesome sauce, I guess. So awesome I, sauce. I really yes. wanted, I really wanted this album to represent all all kinds of genres and really show off what our what, what I love most about our state, which is the music. And speaking of the music on this album, you had some folks collaborate with it. Tell me yeah, a little bit about lots, lots who, of who friends. those were. Yeah, Miranda and Jack uh, being on the, the So Long Sixth Street song. We had lots of other co-writers like Angelina Presley, Waylon Payne, and Charlie Worsham, uh, John Randall. Lots, lots of friends trying to. Get Get friends involved, you know, that's what albums are supposed to be about, having fun and making music for the right reasons. All right, so what's the best song on the album to dance to? Ooh, uh, I'd probably say, well, depending on how you want to dance, I'd probably say Compass Rose. Okay. It's a good little two-stepping song. All right, so Compass Rose, what's the best song on the album to drink to? Uh... All of them? I think you can drink anything. <laughs> yes. So, um, I'd it's probably, my kind of album. <laughs> I'd say, uh, or Day of the Dead's a fun one to just drink to. I don't know, they're all fun to drink to. <laughs> I know, right? They can be, especially Is that you bad have that drink. I like to drink to? Pretty much anything. any song after that is yeah. good to drink to, right? Yeah. Um, and with Valentine's Day around the corner, what's the best song in the album to make out to? Ooh, there's not a whole lot of love songs in this album. It's a pretty dark, <laughs> intense album. So, Make Out, I would say, uh, why don't we just say So Long Six Street? It's a very loving sounding song. Okay. Maybe you can trick the girl into uh, thinking it's, <laughs> it's, it's uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's uh, Guys are always trying to like, eh, maybe I can trick her into liking me. That's, that's how it starts. That's, to me, Valentine's Day is not about married people. It's about tr trying to get a girl and hang on to her. Right. right? So trying it's like that. Her beginning of right. a relationship. So maybe it's that. I don't know. Okay, so you're from the area? Okay, you live up in, in New Braunfels. Yeah. Tell me what you love about living in San Antonio. I love everything. I tell everybody I feel like I live in a movie. Like, I, I love everything about it. I grew up in Central Texas, so I've lived here for 13 years. I, I went to college, started playing music in West Texas, so this is where I want to live the rest of my life. I don't want to move. I love it. It's absolutely amazing. Beautiful. The people are amazing. The food's amazing. Um, the music is 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 amazing. I mean, I could never leave my this area as far as music is concerned and just spend the rest of my days just playing in my backyard pretty much, but I love it. Everything about it. It's just amazing here. You know, later on in the show, we have a special rooftop performance from Wade for, of his latest single, So Long, Sixth Street. So stick around for that. That's great. You ready? You ready to have something else good happen on this Friday? Oh, it's yeah. National Pizza Day. Isn't every day kind of a, a pizza day, though? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, the pizza capital of the United States I did is, not think it would be this. We asked in the news. What, don't put Everybody your guessed, head there. Everyone guessed Chicago, Chicago New, New York, York. Chicago, it's, New York. Detroit. <laughs> It is, it's Detroit because more people go out for pizza in Detroit than others. That's so according to the Google. It's survey. also the, the hometown of Little Caesars, by the way. The Illich family that started Little Caesars way, way back I when. I know that. Yes, indeed. 57% of people say they love pizza. 
Two, quit shaking your head, Ted. 2% <laughs> say they hate pizza. Who is those 2%? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 30% of us eat pizza once a week, and 22% of us can eat an entire pizza by ourselves. Oh, yeah. And there's a very small percentage of both men and women, about like 2%, 3%, that would rather have pizza than a boyfriend or girlfriend. What? And it's better for you than cereal in, for breakfast. You know, pizza for breakfast, that a was a college staple. Yeah, a nutritionist said Because that. there's more protein in that mm -hmm. and less sugar than cereal has. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. Well, what is your favorite, favorite pizza topping? Uh, I'd say everything except mushroom. Mushrooms. Yeah, I like the supreme, but no mushroom. Okay, everything yeah. on it but that. How about you? Um, pepperoni and pineapple. I know you don't like pineapple on your pizza. I'm not I a like huge it. fan of it. So. Yes. Yeah. All right. I know someone who can tell us his favorite pizza topping. Hey! Hey! Sir. How Happy are you, National sir? Pizza Day, guys. What did you bring us? <laughs> a nice, sweet Papa John's pizza. We got a two topping. Ooh. Delicious carry out special going on right now for $7.99. You can get Two of your favorite toppings. And I'm with you on the uh, pepperoni and pineapple, Thank for you. sure. See, yeah, I'm going controversial right now. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> pepperoni, pineapple. You know, there's a lot of debate about that oh, yeah. out there. And for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? That's right. That's right. I made a uh, grilled cheese sandwich out of leftover pizza for breakfast. It's delicious. Oh, that's good. Try it out. What did you do? Just take two pieces and put cheese in the middle? That's right. That's right. We call it the grilled cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> Walked right into that one, folks. Delicious stuff. Oh, it's Delicious a stuff. Yeah. It's but a Friday. Today, though, with pizza being a national pizza day, I'm taking over Papa John's uh, Instagram account, and we're telling all sorts of crazy stories today about what we're doing and giving pizza out to people who deserve it in San Antonio. So uh, we did a little poll to nominate people that you think that deserve it. So right now we're probably on our way to Salvation Army to drop off some pizzas to some folks that have done some amazing things. Yeah. So uh, make sure you follow the, the story on uh, Papa John's. San Antonio, uh, Texas Instagram, and of course mine, and you can see about what we're doing. All right, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Sir. Enjoy, your, enjoy your pizza. Oh, this is for you guys. Oh, you yeah, enjoy it. There you okay. go. Yeah. All right, there you thank go. you. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you so Thanks much. Y Happy National Pizza Day. <laughs> and of course, we want to know what is your favorite topping, or do you have do you not like? Mm -hmm. Or is there something you don't like? Pineapple and ham on your pizza, mm -hmm. like that, or mushrooms, or yes. what? Or the odd thing? I mean, because uh, you like to dip it in ranch dressing, right? That's not odd. No, I didn't say it was. <laughs> okay, okay. And, and SA Life Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. All right. We're going to take a break, but after this, we're going to... Oh, wait. No, oh, I'm sorry. We no, are no, talking no. to burgers no, burger, now. Burger, burger, burger. We're just all sorts of great food today. We've got, it's Friday. We, we've got burgers, we've got pizza, and we have got Christian Hawk in the house, and you are making... This is a chicken patty, and considered a burger because it's between yeah. buns, right? So this is going to be our tandoori burger. Um, one of the cool things, we try to really make it as authentic as possible. Mm -hmm. So we let it marinate. So it has 17 ingredients in this marinade. Uh, the most important one is going to be the Greek yogurt. That's how you get it more authentic. What the Greek yogurt also does, besides it's also a probiotic, so that gives you the good bacteria in your stomach to kind of fight everything else, mm -hmm. um, is that it acts as a tenderizer. So it tenderizes the chicken meat. Oh, oh. So it, it would almost be like putting chicken in, in buttermilk or something. Exactly right. right. Exactly okay. right. Oh, because okay. it's got all the enzymes, enzymes in exactly it. Exactly right. So it breaks it down, some of the protein, and it gives you this very nice fluffy sort of uh, creamy chicken breast, mm -hmm. that, okay. you know, comparison to like a barbecue or whatnot. And, and then you're cooking that just in what, a little bit of olive oil? Yeah, so in some olive oil to give it a little bit more of a depth of flavor, uh, and then just right on the stove top. Okay, and you're gonna wanna stick around because in a little bit, we are gonna show you how we smoked this burger right. without a smoker. Exactly. <laughs> some of the ingredients that goes on it though is the slaw, correct? Mm -hmm. So what goes in there? We've got so, cabbage, obviously. Yeah, we got red and mm -hmm. a green cabbage. We want to put a little bit of carrots. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got some uh, Greek yogurt as well. How much of this? Stick with it. I'll throw the whole thing. Oh, the whole oh. thing. Okay. Go for broke there. There we go. <laughs> All that. And then we got a combination of salt, pepper, and sugar Sh in there. Okay, sugar in the in. And okay. the salt is, you know, salt is a mineral, so it's really going to bring out everything in there. Mm -hmm. We got some Texas wildflower honey. All of it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ooh, the I like honey. the sweetness, and that sweetness is going to be good to cut some of the a uh, little bit of that spice on that chicken breast. Because exactly, yeah, it's going to it help uh, cool it down a little bit. It just has a t uh, just a pinch of cayenne, not not too much, um, okay. and then a little bit of lime juice. So that's going to help just bring everything together so and combat some of the sweetness from there. Okay, I'll use so, this one. Okay. There we go. And then what we also did is we made a tamarind apricot chutney. So that's going to go on top of the bun as soon as the burger is uh, completely finished. So this one's pretty much about to be done. Okay. So if you want to grab me a bun here, Fiona. You got it. There you go. Awesome. 
All right, we're going to slice it up here. Uh-huh. There you go. Mike's on it. Oh, he's got <laughs> You can do calls long like the best I'm, 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 I'm waiting to taste this thing, I know, so. right? So it small, smells so good. Small, just a little bit right here. A little bit of this. Okay. On the top part. So where did you come up with, with, with your ideas for all these different things? Um, it just kind of depends. You know, we haven't done one. Um, we haven't done an Indian burger, and we want to do something kind of really cool and creative. So we did a lot of research mm -hmm. to kind of bring everything uh, together. Um, and then that coleslaw, you want to put it here. Okay. okay there you go. Pop that on there. Mm -hmm. exactly. And the whole, uh, the tandoori, explain what that so is. So tandoori is going to be a clay pot. And traditionally, they put the, the chicken on big skewers inside this, what's called a tandoor. Mm -hmm. And they use a wood fire to kind of smoke the chicken. It cooks and it gives it that very nice, you know, smoky flavor. Obviously, okay. we can't get that smoky flavor from here. That's why we're using the smoking uh -huh, gun. Uh -huh. so we're gonna tell, yeah, we're gonna show folks when how we to do that. come back. We are mm -hmm. talking about the smoking gun and talk <laughs> about a nifty little gadget. This is a smoking gun. You put little tiny wood chips in there. We're gonna fire this baby up. Boom! Okay. There you go. Get that going there. Just light it and we'll just turn it on, Mike. And just hit that. And it's got a little. Oops. I it's think got a little motor we have in any here. Wood chips in there. Okay. But we will show that in a bit. All, All right. right. Last minute Valentine's. We're going to finish this up. Last minute Valentine's with for him and her and even the kids without breaking the bank. That's coming up. And we're taking you into the weekend with country singer Wade Bowen's latest single. Okay, so going into the break, we made the burger, and now to get that tandoori flavor, that smokiness, it is a smoking gun. I've never seen any device like this. You light it up here and Cover it just up. blow the smoke in there, right? Mm -hmm. Is that enough? Yeah, just let it kind of, so that way you can hide in there. Fill up. And then turn it off. And then to Boom. give it a good smoky flavor, how long will that take? Maybe. Uh, so the what we found best was about three minutes. Okay. Three well, minutes. What to do for three minutes while that's smoking? How about three. making a cocktail? Yeah, so what are we making here? All righty, so let's get the tin. So All let's right. put just a little bit of ice in here, Mike. In this one? Okay. Yeah. And so what we're doing is to kind of keep with the theme is we're going to do a masala chai teeny. Yeah. Sounds good. Super, super tasty. So we have everything in here. It has a little bit of a Tito's vodka, De Serono, the, so, the chai tea that we have brewed. Oh, oh this and is chai a, tea in there? And then a little bit of half and half. Okay. So we're gonna pour that in there and then give it a good shake. So just pop this like this? Yeah. And, do, and then close it, flip it around. Flip it around. There you go, and then. So since it has cream, you kinda want it to really kinda get nice and frothy. Okay. And, and that is designed to kinda complement the, the flavors and the smokiness oh, and everything. Oh, absolutely, yeah, burgers, absolutely. So. so, I mean, the chai has, you know, a subtle amount of spice. And so that gives it just a ton of great flavor. So you can see right here. And then drain that off of there. And this is what we garnish it with, the cinnamon stick. Yeah. And the burnt orange? The burnt orange is gonna be for our next cocktail. Ah, okay. Ooh, that looks tasty. Oh, right it's in there. so good. Yeah. And then right here to my right, you see a little bit of that, um, so we have a little bit of nutmeg right here. So mm -hmm. you wanna sprinkle that on top. Just a little bit of nutmeg. I love nutmeg. And it's just, you can smell it already. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just all, all those nutmeg. flavors. Mm. Crazy, huh? All right. What do you think? Ooh. All right. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. It's not too sweet. It's just, it's just really, really nice. And just has enough of that little bit of a hmm to it that's exactly. going to complement that, exactly. that burger. And we know what it tastes like because after he cooked one of the, the chicken breasts and there was all the little stuff left over there, and Fiona and I were just scraping it out and burning our fingers, but it was very tasty. So, so. this one is going to have uh, muddled. So we actually uh, grill the orange. Mm -hmm. so you can kind of tell a little bit right there. Right. And it has muddled strawberries. And by grilling it, you get all the, that char and that sweetness in the, in the sugars in the, the orange. Exactly. Exactly right. Okay. And so this has uh, Herodura tequila. And it also has a little bit of SoCo, so a New Orleans kind of flair to it. Oh. And then so then that's where this boy comes in. And then we call this one the Burnt Offering. <laughs> right? I like the name. It's, an... it's boozy, it's fresh, and we actually have an organic orange marmalade as the, the sort of sweetener in it instead of a simple syrup. Yeah, it, it's, it's orange, but it's... 
It's a different taste, and it's, it's yeah. all the, the it's kind of the, the burger flavor in there. And, and the then spice. you get a little bit of that charriness from that orange that's okay. actually muddled right in there. Let's check out the burger, see how that's right. going. So it's been smoking for about uh, two, three minutes or so. Mm -hmm. So and now that it's in there, once you taste it, you'll actually be able to taste that smoke. And what we actually used was uh, applewood. Oh. And yeah. just a little chips mm -hmm. like that. See how fluffy that chicken is from the marinade? Mm -hmm. And you can do that with any sort of a chicken Anything. breast. You can do you it to ribs. It. You can do it to... A little to... bit of cream or, or um, buttermilk or something, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Exactly mm -hmm. right. Yep. Yes, and the flavors in that just subtle hint of the smoke. The buttermilk is, in is there. used more like for fried chicken, a little bit more of a southern style. Right. The Greek yogurt's more of a mid east sort of Indian. And yes, the cocktail does complement those flavors. Oh, you quite bet. Well, okay. And you're uh, located where? So 2603 Vance Jackson inside the loop of 410. And we have all day happy hour. Uh, we're also for Valentine's Day, we're doing a two for 25. So you get two burgers of your choice, large fries, and two cocktails. Fantastic. All right, for more information on Hawks Burger and Bar Electro Lounge, visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Got a cocktail waiting out here for you, Fiona. Next on the show, we're sharing a few last minute gift ideas from Felice Modern that your Valentine will absolutely love. Plus, it's a salon on wheels. David Elder takes you inside headquarters, a place making it simple for those hair makeovers. Stick around. Monday. Country star Wade Bowen performing his new song, So Long, Sixth Street. Still ahead, we have not too late to surprise your sweetheart with a unique gift for Valentine's Day a little bit later on in the show. Y'all about to see magic happen. Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. Well, if you're looking for a really cool place to get a really nice haircut or a trim, guess what? That's what I'm gonna go get. And it's right here at headquarters. They're a high-end mobile salon and they're located all across San Antonio. We're gonna go inside and find out why they're a cut above the rest. Sir, we're ready for you. Oh. Julia, like, tell me a little bit about the idea behind a mobile high-end salon. So both of us have trained going to uh, working at very high-end salons, mm -hmm. and so we kind of wanted to bring what we learned in those environments into a much more relaxed uh, atmosphere. So it's pretty relaxing here. Yeah. <laughs> it is. So the beautiful thing about it is you're getting a lot of education behind the haircut, mm -hmm. but you get a really just laid-back environment with it too. Now, about actually opening up and getting it like running, mm -hmm. what was that process like? So we had to completely gut this thing, get all of the old paint out of here, rip out all the appliances, um, and then start putting it back together. So it was quite a process. You're cutting my hair now, but tell me a little bit about, I mean, it's not just men's, it's women too, and it's, it's like, what options do you have when you come in here, like as far as men and women's hairstyles? Our service menu, you can actually get the full service, which is an hour long appointment where you get a, a nice signature stress relieving shampoo. Um, a men's full service haircut also comes with a complimentary facial. So you're going to be getting a little bit of a facial treatment that's going to help not only get all the hair off of you, but it feels really good. And so that's the full hour experience. Now if you're limited on time and you can't give yourself that hour, you can book these shorter appointments. So we do a dry haircut. That's a 30 minute appointment. What is the reaction to getting your hair trimmed inside of this mold? Salon. Foot traffic coming by, people are definitely curious, mm -hmm. peeking their head in. <laughs> um, now getting people actually into the salon and trying it out has been a lot of just um, promotion on our part. Right now we're doing for the month of February, if you bring in a friend, you both get 25% off your services. John, you want a haircut? One of the beautiful things about our business is that we are on wheels, so we are mobile. So being able to come to you for special events, whether it's a wedding or let's say a bachelorette party or just like a girls night out, um, we could come in, do blowouts, do styles um, and come to you and you guys get to just enjoy the luxury of not having to go anywhere. Oh my God, yeah, imagine right before prom, you and your girlfriends get all together, you go to somebody's house and then you got like this pull up and you guys got all get your hair styled right there before prom. 
Well, William, thank you so much. This is a great haircut. And to get information on how you can get a good style like this, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. You can also follow headquarters on social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. You guys, I mean, great job. This is really fun. And I smell really good. Let's... prettiest of days out there. Good day to maybe sit inside and listen to some good country music. How about a local boy, Wade Bowen? Oh yeah, he stopped by for a rooftop session and his latest album, Solid Ground, dropped today. Here's a listen at his new single, So Long, Sixth Street. March 17th at the John T. Floor Country Store in Holotus. For ticket information, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, straight ahead. 
unique gift ideas your family and friends are gonna love. We've got Police Modern in the house. Plus, earlier we asked you, what is your favorite topping on a pizza? Hello Tallulah says, my weird secret, I put pepper flakes and honey on my pizza. Try it, it's delicious. It does sound good. Yeah, even Mike agrees. Keep them coming at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. And it's time for today's Cool Zone, brought to you by the Buyer Boys. This week's Cool Zone is a concert in a cave. Cave Without a Name, out in Bernie, is teaming up with San Antonio opera singers for a Valentine's Day event called Sing to Love. It's tomorrow at 7, and you can win two free tickets to go see it live. Just head to our website at salive.com for more information on how to win. That's this week's Cool Zone, brought to you by the Buyer Boys. Hey, I'm Wade Bowen, and you're watching SA Live! Woo! Well, it's not too late to surprise your loved ones with a gift this Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger Diaz, owner of Feliz Modern, is here. And you got some great last-minute ideas. And I said... You don't think you have table saws and like car jacks, but everything else. Everything in your place. else we have. I love these <laughs> glasses that we're wearing, and they're they're actually Valentine's cards. Yes, like they say I love you. Oh, oh they're looking good. Oh. Looking good, or I love you, and then on the back it has Happy Valentine's Day, and they can wear the glasses. I love that. Go out for dinner, and you can both sport these glasses. So. What's he holding? <laughs> he has one of our surprise balls, which when, as you watch him unravel it, he'll have a few surprises inside. Oh, good. He'll be busy for a bit. Yes. All right. It's good to keep your kids busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you not only have, you know, kind of trinkets and stuff, but you have, you know, kind of cute stuff you can wear, too, right? We have, yes, we have a beautiful Otomi shawl that's just um, very colorful. It can be worn any time of year, but it would be great coming up for Fiesta and those cool nights. Oh, and I love beautiful. you have the horseshoe the and the horseshoe. state of Texas on there, and it's you have by, purses. Right, and the, the shawl is made by a Texas artist, mm -hmm. and we feature a lot of local artists in our shop. Mm -hmm. And the purses? And the purses come from Mexico. Oh, okay, very nice. Very colorful yeah. stuff, too. Okay. I almost feel like somebody told me, put me in a round room and told me to go sit in the corner here. <laughs> And of course, Valentine's Day, a lot of cards going to be going around, even flowers too, but this combines them both. Look at this. And this, if you, to give to someone who just can't keep flowers alive. That's the coolest thing. I love that. <laughs> they don't die. Look at that. <laughs> you are fascinated I, with I, I'm very fascinated, but it looks like little laser cut things and they're so intricate. And you can say you can say you said you can hang that, correct? You can hang it, yes. It'll detach from the card and you can hang it up with a string. Oh, and I love oh, and I other just really cute cards with have, really cute sayings. If you want to find something beyond the typical cards at, you know, right, the local stores, the right? Boring right? Card, mm -hmm. No boring cards. cards. Your oh, intuition you is pointing you in the right direction. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the first of many gifts in there, right? right. There's and several if... layers of surprises in each <laughs> okay. ball. Okay, he's and still busy. The, okay. <laughs> then it goes all the way up to the larger balls. Too. Oh, okay. So even 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 bigger prizes. Right. Okay. So not only cool. cards for, for adults, but there are cards for kids. And I love these because they also come with a little tattoo, temporary tattoo inside. So your friends will have something to open than j besides just paper. Look at that. The cute little pirates. Yeah. The pirate we theme. have all different mm -hmm. themes. And then f even for just little trinkets, almost, you know, like Valentine stocking stuffers, right? <laughs> right. Almost. All of these. And this is by local artist Cruiser Tees. It's a nice piece of art for your loved ones for Valentine's. And the keychains. We have keychains, all different kinds, and uh, little hair barrettes that are great for Valentine's or any time of year for adults or children. And we also have these barrettes that are either a barrette or a brooch. Oh, okay, so you can wear this as a hair clip. A or... hair clip or a brooch. Mm -hmm. And look at yeah. that, that's so cute. <laughs> and confetti crayons? Great gift for kids year round, but definitely at Valentine's. What do they do? Yeah, they, they come in different colors and then they have, they kind of change color as you color. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, Hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> we leave him to his own devices for a couple of minutes. And I got three turns. <laughs> so what, what was all in there? These, these three things and uh -huh. the fortune. So. And the fortune. Oh, so you're, so you're maxed out yeah. for the day. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Great stuff kind of from Ginger Diaz, owner of Felice Modern. Thank you so much for being here.
The Felice local market is happening this Sunday from noon to four at Felice Modern, located at 110 West Almost. For more information, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next on SA Live, everyone loves the Alamo, but do you know the real story behind it? David Elder has some very surprising facts to share with you. And Monday on SA Live, get your home rodeo ready with customizable decor. How you can snag one of these beautifully crafted signs at the rodeo. We're going to tell you how. That's Monday. To make history right now, yes, indeed, we are sealed in Funkin' Wagnall, the Manny's jar on Funkin' Wagnall's front porch since noon today. Remember that from Carson, Mighty Car <laughs> is the winner of this month's Cool Schools. <laughs> and la La Land. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I like that. So, February's contest featured three amazing programs from Southside High School. The band, FFA, and the girls' varsity basketball team. All week, you have been voting. It has been a close race, and it's finally time. Drum roll, please. Are you ready? And the winner is... The band. Band. Yes, strike up the band. Thanks to Go Public for making our Cool Schools contest happen every month. For more information on their organization, you can just visit wegopublic.com. All right, coming up Monday on SA Live, it is a one of a kind sign found only at the rodeo. We're going to introduce you to the creator of these personalized signs, and you can add one to your home. And have you heard of Mardi Gras pancakes? <laughs> I want to. You will now. It's a thing. Who knew? We didn't. We're gearing you up for Fat Tuesday with Snooze AM Eatery. That's all Monday at 1. Did you know that this month, 182 years ago, the Battle of the Alamo took place? That's right. On this day in 1863, Antonio de Padua Maria Severino Lopez de Santa Ana y Perez de Lebron, a.k.a. General Santa Ana, was making his way to the Alamo with about 4,000 soldiers. Also on this day, volunteers in support of the Texas Revolution arrived to the Alamo to help defend the fort. Commanders William Travis and James Jim Bowie, along with folk hero Davy Crockett, were part of the nearly 200 combatants defending the Alamo. The siege on the Alamo started on February 23rd and lasted only 13 days. On March 6th, the Mexican army breached a wall and the Alamo fell. Santa Ana's army overpowered the outnumbered Alamo defenders and the siege ended with the majority of the volunteers deceased. After Santa Ana's victory, the Alamo became occupied by Mexican forces as Santa Ana marched to what is today Houston. Sam Houston, the current commander-in-chief of the Texan forces, and about 800 Texans battled the Mexican forces on April 21st, 1836. It never ceases to amaze me when you're downtown, you see the Alamo, to think right. that right here, you know, all this was going on yeah. way back there in the 1800s. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching today's show. It felt like a Friday. It, it sure did. <laughs> it sure did. We hope you enjoy this weekend and enjoy the, the rodeo. <laughs> Wear your cowboy hats. National Pizza Day today as well. So get your favorite pizza going. All right. Well, country artist Wade Bowen is going to play us out singing Day of the Dead. Remember, you can catch him March 17th in Helotus at John T. Floor's Country Store. Have a good weekend.